Hundreds of Hamilton residents heard the loud noise come from the pier this morning, and some may have felt their house shake as well. A blast furnace was demolished at a slate facility, which used to be owned by Stelco. As Vanessa Danabalan tells us, there are many concerns throughout the city. I was just uh, sitting down on my desk and I heard a loud boom that it really shook the house. It wasn't like thunder or anything like that. Um, and it was a little bit frightening. Peter Kirkpatrick lives in Waterdown, which is almost 15 kilometers away from where the demolition was at Hamilton's Pier 16. And he couldn't believe how loud it was. I went out front to take a look around and I could hear some car alarms going off. He wasn't alone. Residents who lived kilometers away also experienced the same thing. Many people took to Twitter, some of them upset, saying, thought a truck crashed into my house and I'm 15 kilometers away. We heard and felt it on Upper James and Mohawk, felt and heard it on West Mountain and Dundas. In a statement, the demolition company says the e-furnace at Stelco was demolished using a blast method. The explosion was meant to cut through the thick steel and that's why it made such a huge noise. This method was chosen because the structure was too tall and too heavy for any other method to be used without putting lives of the workers at risk. <laughs> Priestley Demolition says they had been planning to take down the furnace at the former Stelco property for the past year with many different groups including Slate, Stelco Security and environmental staff. Some residents and environment Hamilton are worried about the environmental impacts and what gets released into the air after a demolition like this. Environment Hamilton is a community activist group. They were told about this yesterday evening, but many residents didn't know about it until this morning. And Environment Hamilton says that's not enough time. I and mean, typically when these demolitions happen, it kicks up a lot of particulate material into the air that can be carcinogen. Um, so especially when it comes to uh, leftover dust from steel making, uh, we know that known carcinogens are going to be found in that dust. But Priestley Demolition says the dust control crew utilized multiple water trucks and misters to ensure that the dust was controlled and they don't anticipate any environmental impact. We reached out to Slate but have yet to hear back. Manisa Danabalan, CHCH News.